Hey, hey, how's everyone doing? My name's Lamar Scholl. I'm from Direction to Success. I hope everyone's day is going amazing so far, whether it's your morning, afternoon, or evening. So what I want to do today is now nah, just give people a few seconds to come on. I don't usually have too many patient, too much for patience, but I will try. But anyhow, I just wanted to do this live real quick because there's something that's kind of been on my mind lately. My, my hair's a mess, just got back from a walk. I took about a three and a half mile walk and I came in and well, anyhow, my whole time I was on this walk, I was kind of just always thinking like I always do, but what kept coming back to me is just trying to help people really in their business. A lot of times we just get stuck and it's literally on simple things. It's a lot of them right? Which then add up to something that's bigger. And I kept thinking about this, like what are all these things, right? We got a million roadblocks that we seem to hit. And oh, I don't have my lighting on, but it looks like it's good enough. I just, sorry, squirrel. I just saw myself over there, but it looks like it is. I didn't turn my box lights on, so it should be all right. It's beautiful day here in New England, and I'm trying to get back. I'll get back on point here. I'm focused again. I'm focused. I'm here. But anyhow, what I want to do is just kind of talk to you about a YouTube channel that we put together. I've been working on this for a while, and it's called Direction to Success. What I'd like to do is just tell you a little bit about the channel and everything. So I just got to look over here at my other monitor, and I just want to share my screen with you right now. So like I said, the name of the YouTube channel is called Direction to Success. And this channel deals with or talks about the mindset and marketing. I kind of lately been meshing the two together, kind of melding the two together because I know when I first started, I didn't really work on, when I was starting marketing that is, I didn't work on mindset. I was listening, you know, listening to videos, everybody's telling you to do it, but I came from, or I do come from a software engineering background where I have to see everything. So when you know when you make a change in software over here, this happens. Could be good or bad. When you change something here, this happens, right? So you can see that you change and then something happened. You can see it. That was the thing. But everything when you work on the mindset had nothing to do with seeing. Everything's invisible. Energy or whatever you you know, whatever we want to talk about, right? So not that I disbelieved it. I just, my mind wasn't there, right? That's just not how I was, you know, went from most of my life thinking. Thinking was like physics, you know, just something here, you do this, this happens. There's always a reason why something's happening. And when you start working on your mindset and personal growth, it's like this happens, we don't know why, or, you know, it's some energy and stuff you never can see. But anyways, let me try to keep going here. I keep, I, I get off on tangents easy. So on the channel, I've got, I think we've got about 550 videos somewhere around there right now. And like I was saying, it talks about personal growth. And I've been adding this into the videos lately because like I was saying, this is something that I didn't do when I first got started. And once I started working on my personal growth and mindset, and I do this daily, right? Or almost daily, as often as I can, I realized, you know, I start seeing my results changing. Before I was doing a lot of work, you know, I was diligent about coming in, sitting in front of my computer, doing it, getting it done, but I wasn't seeing the results. And I was doing this over and over every day. I'm sure you guys are feeling the same way. But once I started including and working on my mindset and personal growth, I realized I was able to do a little bit less work and more, you know, start seeing huge results. Once I started doing this, literally started seeing my results exponentially change. And that was one thing I couldn't believe, you know, so everything I was listening to in videos, like, yeah, it does work. Don't know how. And at the, I'm at the point where, okay, I don't care. I don't mean it in a bad way, but I'm like, I'm not worried about figuring it out. I don't need all the details. I just know it works. So we do talk about personal growth on the channel. Obviously, we talk about affiliate marketing. So I go through different programs. I talk about different 
tools and websites that I use. And I don't, like when I talk about the programs, I'm not going to tell you if it's a scam or not a scam. Because my, I advocate, I'm a big advocate on letting you decide if it's a scam or not. Right? You're the only one that will know. How do you know when you watch somebody else's video and they tell you it's a, it's a scam? They might not have put their work into it. Or they might not have resonated with that offer. It's as simple as that. So, like I always say in all my videos, it's something for you to decide by trying it yourself. And the nut, the fourth one down there, mindset and tech. This is one thing that kind of came about lately that I was aware of, right? I think a lot of people are stopped by tech because of what's up here. It's not the tech. It's not the videos they're watching. But it's in their mind because I hear people say, I'm not the techie. I don't know how, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not familiar with this. I don't know. I'm not used to this. Well, as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, guess what? You are going to do mostly everything that is unfamiliar. And mostly everything. So you've got to learn to go in, into it with the right mindset. And I notice that people, when they're going through tech, learning how to do like a web, learn how to do a website or maybe some new strategy, more than 80% of that is literally their mindset. If they went in and just said, I've got this, this is easy, I can do it, I'm telling you, their results will immediately change. Think about it. You're always knocking these walls down, but we're putting our own walls up, right? So if you have think you don't ha understand something that's tech related, think about it. you got this 10 foot wall there. How are you going to get over that wall? Probably not very easy. You're not going to be able to put your shoulder in and bust it down. This wall is unbelievably strong. But if mindset's at least 80% of it and you can work on that and get rid of that mindset, guess what happens? That 10 foot wall now becomes 8 feet, 7 feet, 4 feet, down to 2 feet. Now guess what? You got the right mindset. You just step over that wall. And literally, you're going to see changes like that made that easy. And another one I got on here is organizational tips. I don't mean cleaning your desk and keeping all that organized. I'm talking about try to be aware of little things that stop you that you kind of look for. So, for example, when you download a file. Oop, just getting a little feedback on the mic. When you're downloading a file on a computer and you say to yourself, I just download the file. I don't know where it is, but I need it, right? It's those things. So you've got to learn now. It's like, okay, if I download a file, I've just got to take a little time here to learn where they go and how to find that file. Because I'm going to be downloading many more files in the future. Why do I always want to get stuck here? What about if you're ever watching a video, you know, whatever it is, like learning, right? You're in some, when you back off, you're sitting there taking notes diligently, getting your notepad out. How often, seriously, how often do you go back and look at those notes? Do you ever sit there, take notes on a video, never look at them, do the same thing time and time again? Now, there might be reasons why you don't go and look for those notes. You know, look back at those notes. Maybe you can't find them. Maybe you're thumbing through all those pages. And trying to find those are what I mean by organizational tips. I know, and I mentioned it many times in videos. When I'm watching a tutorial type video, a training video, first thing I do is just simply watch it. I make sure I'm focused, and that's all I'm doing. And then the second time I go through and take notes. And I found out the same thing. I don't put my notes down on a notepad because I never find them in an office and I hate clutter. So I pull up my favorite word processor, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. Start typing and take all my notes in there. And I make sure that I can find that file easy when I need to go back to those notes. Then when you're note taking, if you're saying things like, wow, I thought I had this in here. This doesn't make any sense. You got to stop and rethink about how you're taking notes. Those are what I mean by organizational tips. Then the other thing I talk about here, tools and websites. Some paid, some free, but just little things to help you. Like I've got a website where I can remove the background to an image. This website's free. Why is that any? Why is that useful at all? Well, if you ever want to put your 
face, but on a backdrop or your body, right? On some kind of backdrop, or you want to make a cool looking YouTube thumbnail. There might be a reason, right? But you might have your reason. Maybe you don't need that. There's another cool website called Uber Suggest. I don't, you guys heard of Neil Patel. I was sitting here using that website. I don't know. I'm going to say a year. It's been a while. This is where you do keyword research, backlink research. You can research your competitors. All this amazing amount of data. So much data on that website. Like, I, I was just like confused. But a lot of it was amazing. And this is free. It was free. He just It just went paid, I think, the beginning of this year or sometime around then. And it's still very reasonably priced. There's still a free section. But even the paid section is very cheap but i'm sitting here using this and i'm like i've done videos on it. i'm like how come other people don't use this this is amazing right and that at that time it was free all right let me keep going on so basically the two uh, videos i do not all of them but most of them are tutorial style and what i've done is created playlists so that you don't have to go trying to find all the vi you know searching through the whole channel to find the videos that you may want so, in, like, for an example, if you are looking to learn a little bit more about AWeber, I've created an AWeber playlist. So, I've created many playlists and organized, grouped the videos so that you can get to them much easier. Now, what I do, the way the style of the videos go, I simply do kind of what I'm doing here. I share my screen. And I just show you in a step-by-step, -step, a simple step-by-step -step fashion just to help you get over these little things where you may be stuck. Because usually that's what it is when you're learning something new. It's nothing big. It's all these little things that make it seem like it's big. So if you break them down into little tiny steps, do one at a time. Just get through that one. That's how you're going to get to the top of your mountain, right? So I've tried to put together the video that way. I try to keep it very uh, on point. So in the case, we'll go back to AWeber. When I show you how to create a list, I don't talk about how to segment the list in that same video. There's another video for that. I try to keep the video very, very, just kind of narrow, just so that you can learn that and then move on to the next one. All right, what kind of tutorial videos are back there well autoresponders you know your esp email service providers they're huge there's millions of well i don't know if there's millions there's hundreds hundreds of them out there right but i've got playlists for aweber get response active campaign why because these are the three that i've used through my journey in my online business right so i put those to, you know i've done just like i said a step by step with each of those I talk about auto, you know, just autoresponders in general and how you tie them into your marketing. And that's kind of where the next one comes in, email marketing. I talk about how to often to write emails and how you go about tagging and segmenting your list. So that's more generalized. So it doesn't matter on what autoresponder you have. You should be doing that no matter what. Then I've got another playlist called Traffic Toolbox. These are traffic sources that I have used and some of them I'm still using. And they're, yes, both free and paid. Some worked out for me, some didn't. But I literally go through those videos, show you in the back office my results that I am getting at that time of the video. All right. So along with traffic, I have another playlist. I think I call it tracking or click magic. I'm not sure. But when you run traffic, you want to collect data, and you do that by tracking every bit. You want to track your clicks, your opt-ins, where that traffic's coming from. And I do this with a tool called ClickMagic, and you can also use Bitly. I love ClickMagic. It's very simple to use. I've done a bunch of videos. I show you my results, too. When I'm running traffic, I show you how I set up my tracking link before I even get started. And then I do another follow-up video to show you my results that I got from that traffic. Whether it's good or bad, I show everything. You know, I, I'm just going to show you my results instead of me sitting here saying, hey, you know, you should be getting a 40% opt-in rate. 
And if you only get in 15, I don't think you'd believe me if I just sat there in front of this mic. But I'm going to show you my results. Sometimes I've, the last traffic source I just got done running, it happened to be solo ads. I got just a tad over 50% on an opt-in rate. That's pretty cool. If you want to learn more like this, this is why you want to subscribe to the Direction to Success channel. All right. And solo ads. A lot of us run solo ads. I sh Just like I was talking, I show you my results. I show you how I set everything up before I actually run the solo ad. I show you exactly what I do to go find a solo ad vendor. If you've got a WordPress website, I don't have much there, but different places when I was learning WordPress and kind of got hung up or it took me a little while, I kind of said, well, if I got stuck here, I think other people have. So I tend to go back and do a video on that. I talk about blogging. I'm not a huge blogger. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not making money on my blog, but I'm going to show you the things that I've done to help get more traffic to my blog right now. And be honest, I haven't been putting my efforts there as much, you know, like I'll do it and come back, but I love it. It's kind of fun. And another one that's popular is ClickBank. I show you how to use ClickBank. You know, gravity's a huge um, figure, you know, stat that you want to look at when finding products in there. I Speaking of finding products, I start you right from the beginning on how you use ClickBank and how to find the right products for you. So if any of this stuff, any of this stuff <laughs> sounds interesting to you and you want to learn more, subscribe to the Direction to Success YouTube channel. I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next live.